the Netherlands will ban disposable plastic products from July 2021. Here's a summary of the article. Some great news for the environment. Plastic waste is one of the greatest issues facing our planet, and despite a slow response, countries have started to mobilize in the fight against plastic. The Netherlands will also take another step in this battle starting from next year, reports NOS. New measures will be taken next year from July 3, in order to stop the incredibly high amount of plastic waste ending up in the ocean and in the environment in general. These measures include a ban on some disposable plastic products, educational campaigns on alternatives to single-use plastics, as well as the recycling of more plastic products. Plastic cutlery, chip bags, cotton swabs, cups and bottles are one of the most widespread plastic pollutants that can be found both in the sea but also on beaches and other natural environments. Germany announced yesterday a ban on food trays, straws, plastic plates and cutlery and balloon sticks. The Netherlands also banned free plastic bags in 2016, which lead to a substantial reduction in bag waste. Should countries push even faster to reduce plastic waste? Let us know your thoughts in the comments. This post received a score of 19,000, with an upvote ratio of 97%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. News like the one above are just about the EU member countries implementing this ban in their local legislation. By 2021, the following items will be banned in the EU. Single-use plastic cutlery, forks, knives, spoons and chopsticks, single-use plastic plates, plastic straws, cotton bud sticks made of plastic, plastic balloon sticks, oxo-degradable plastics and food containers and expanded polystyrene cups edit. There's already been a directive from 2015, to reduce the use of plastic shopping bags. In Germany, for example, this has reduced the use of plastic shopping bags by nearly 70% within five years. Oh, that's pretty good news to hear. I really hope Canada takes a page from their book and does the same. It was in Trudeau's platform so I really hope he follows through with it. While we're at it the electoral reform would be a great thing to implement any day now. Nice. Next step in a few years should address excess packaging. What? You don't need your product in a plastic bag with a plastic tie inside a hard plastic container with packaging material inside a cardboard box? Right? This gives me a headache. Please wait while I take one of the 30 tablets from the 200 ml size bottle. Or remove the 700 clips and random bits of plastic from the cheap ass shirt that costs less than the value of the packaging. This is my absolute pet peeve. My husband bought a beach towel a few weeks ago and there were over two dozen of those stupid plastic clips just to keep it folded for display. What's worse is you have to be super careful cutting them all so you don't cut or tear the fabric. If I'm the one shopping I just straight up refuse to buy products packaged like that. Those death pins in shirts years ago were horrific. Or dress shirt shopping is a thrilling sport. I was on a business trip to Amsterdam last year and nearly all bottles that I drank out of were glass, very limited plastic. It was very noticeable. Maybe the fancy bottles your business relations supplied you with, or the hotel you stayed at. But plastic bottles are still way too common for the daily folk. Yay, that might be true. We stayed at the bank's mansion and I was very impressed with the entire experience there. Would love to go back. Sounds chic. Ordinary folk still use bottles for everything and dump it even on the beach. Today was an awful day on Scheveningen. I wonder if this means they'll finally stop individually plastic wrapping every five slices of ham. My favorite is individually plastic wrapped carrots. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.